This is our 3D at Penn State. Welcome to our Day Zero Recap. My name is Matthias. My name is Aaron. And today we did a ton of brainstorming and prototyping and mostly getting ready for a massive day of prototyping tomorrow. And so we, we dialed down to seven prototypes that we're gonna be explaining further in this video. They were all based on mechanism priorities that we have here. To be clear, this is not what we recommend for teams. This is what we're going to prototype tomorrow. Um, and this is how we based it off of. In general, we just wanna teach teams the most that we can. Our first kind of preliminary prototype was an attempt to move coral laterally using vectored intake wheels. We noticed that the hard plastic on hard PVC has zero traction, and so that didn't really work. This might be able to be successful with like rubber wheels, but we couldn't get it to work with plastic on plastic. Our first prototype that we did today was this one, and our goal was to intake the coral from any orientation and for this flat bar to take it in and then these to be spinning and put it into a vertical position. Tomorrow, our goal is to make sure that at a continuous motion, these can keep spinning and that the coral actually goes into the vertical position and test to make sure we can actually get at it from any angle. Cool. All right, next up we have two different prototypes here. So our third and our fourth prototype that we'll be testing tomorrow are a very simple coral intake and a very simple um, algae intake. So the coral intake, the idea being that we can intake it horizontally with one roller um, and a wall on the backside, and then be able to run into the reef um, and kind of passively deploy this by just running into it at a correct angle where um, the reef will pull the coral out of the robot. Um, the algae intake, pretty self-explanatory, um, two rollers on each side. Our third prototype is very similar to our first one, except we have one fixed arm and an articulating arm and no roller bar. So tomorrow with this, we want to make sure that this can actually, while spinning, intake this from any direction and keep the coral upwards. And then from here, we want to test to make sure that it will work on our elevator and actually, from any angle, put the coral onto the reef. Our fifth prototype that we'll be looking into more tomorrow is a traditional flywheel shooter orientation for algae into um, the net. So we'll try to get numbers for the speed that we spin up our flywheels to and the, the distance of compression between the wheels. Our sixth prototype idea is for the shallow climb on the cage. And this is our elevator, so this will be able to move up and down. And what we'll do is we'll test if we can drive forward and then bring this down and around. And tomorrow we wanna to make sure that this is feasible and that it's actually easy for this to attach onto here instead of having to spend a lot of time lining it up. Our seventh and final prototype um, that we'll be looking into more tomorrow is a method of doing the deep climb. Um, with the deep climb, the cage will be resting on, on a chain only three and a half inches off the carpet, so about midway up our bumpers. We hope to use some sort of funnel system to drive through the cage, allowing the cage to come all the way towards the center of our robot, and then using much smaller um, cam or pneumatic system to pull up on the bottom face of the cage. This way we only need to get a few inches off the ground um, and our center of mass is, is about centered on the cage. Thank you so much for tuning in. We'll be sure to update you tomorrow with our progress and we're so excited to see how this turns out.